Over the weekend, the New England Conference of United Methodist Churches, which represents 600 congregations, voted for a resolution that calls for a complete end to the drug war. So here's what they say, quote, In the love of Christ, who came to save those who are lost and vulnerable, we urge the creation of a genuinely new system for the care and restoration of victims, offenders, criminal justice officials, and the community as a whole. Restorative justice grows out of a biblical authority which emphasizes a right relationship with God, self, and community. When such relationships are violated or broken through crime, opportunities are created to make things right. So this is actually a pretty big deal because, again, the United Methodist Churches represents 600 congregations. That's a lot. And as we know, whether or not we like it, the reality is that this group has probably a significant amount of political clout just by raw numbers. And when they come out and say, we're in favor of, you know, medical treatment for uh, drug abuse instead of jail time, that may have an impact. See, what you're seeing now is a lot of more or less mainstream groups in societies are now saying, yeah, now we've taken what was the formerly radical position on marijuana and we're on that page now. So like we covered recently, I think some polls are as high as 60% now in terms of favorability for legalization of marijuana in the United States. Okay, we're, now, we're not talking about like a controversial issue anymore, guys. We're talking about an issue where 60% in some cases of the American people say, just legalize it. Not even, hey, decriminalize it. Not even, like, do treatment for people with drug abuse. Legalize it. Legalize it. So, the snowball effect is happening right now, and we're pretty far along in that process, and it's only going to continue. So, of course, I can't get through this segment without bringing up, though, I find just religious groups in general weighing in on anything is so silly to me. <laughs> because it's like, um, we, on behalf of our imaginary friend that doesn't exist, but we like to pretend that imaginary friend exists, we would like to say that our imaginary friend now has switched sides on this and is in favor of doing the right thing. Well, I wish you could just say that, hey, it's my opinion based on logic and rationality, and I came to this conclusion, and that's why we're on this page. But they have to play like the voodoo metaphysical dogmatic bullshit game along with it, and that part pisses me off, but that's just me being bitter and angry that more people don't aren't secular and aren't atheists, but either way, I mean, I'd rather have somebody who I, I disagree with on the bigger issue of religion, but somebody who still comes to the right policy position than somebody who's religious and is on the wrong policy side. That goes without saying. So I may not agree with how they came to this conclusion. I may not agree with what their reasoning is, or lack thereof reasoning is. But at least they're on the right side, which means we can move forward and try to get the right policy, regardless of other differences. So with that being said, you give them credit. They did the right thing here.